Hey everybody, hope you're holding up here on day 27 of the governor's stay home, stay healthy order. And I think it's like two months since I've had a haircut. Really starting to get uncomfortable. Fridge and Bunman. Starting to get noticeable. <laughs> I might actually keep this. Anyway, so not gonna lie, <laughs> some days are easier than others to find good news, but I managed to scrounge up four really good news stories actually to pass along. First, in case you haven't seen this already, a new $500 billion package has been set aside. Another stimulus package to help small businesses. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer was on CNN and said this. We came to an agreement on just about every issue. Wait, what did he say? An agreement on just about every issue. Agreed on everything? Excuse me? That is something you don't hear every day from Congress. Nonetheless, it looks like a deal is gonna be signed pretty soon with billions going to help small businesses, which is much needed, but also billions set aside to get more testing, which has been so critical throughout this process. Good news story number two on your Tuesday at the University of Washington. They're now starting testing on antibodies. You can find this story on king5.com. It's a clinical trial to see uh, if these blood tests can reveal if a person has had coronavirus in the past. So we're looking for the antibodies that the body makes when it has been fighting off this virus. The testing will not only help doctors understand more about the virus, but also it's a step in the direction of getting a vaccine. Super encouraging news to get that vaccine as soon as possible because we don't know what it's gonna be like come fall when the flu season ramps back up again. What's next is really turning the tables on this virus. Good news story number three on your Tuesday and it takes us to South Korea where as the New York Times was reporting, South Korea's new coronavirus cases have fallen to single digits for the first time in two months. This was a country that was way at the beginning right next to China as one of the first to show coronavirus cases. If you look at the Johns Hopkins website, which I check every day many times, South Korea is now 26th on on the list of total cases worldwide. The United States, by the way, is still far and away number one for most coronavirus cases. And look at South Korea's curve. Definitely flat or flattened, if you ask me. And good news story number four today. I don't know why I'm splitting the numbers like this. Still don't know what to do with my hands. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. But good news story number four for you, the price of gas. I've been telling you about this, but yesterday something really bizarre happened on the stocks. Crude oil was trading in the negative, which means we were actually having to pay people to take our oil. It was basically worthless to us. We're running out of places in this country to store oil right now because demand is so low. This graph basically says it all. Look, we're going along pretty good. Price of oil, price is up, it's down, and then boom. If that doesn't show you the effects of this crisis on crude oil, I don't know what does. You could buy a barrel of oil, dump it somewhere safely, and sell the barrel for the cost of metal and make more money. I will really be impressed when the cost of wine gets to about two bucks a barrel too. Make it a great day, 27 everybody, or however many days you've quarantined, and I hope you're happy, safe, and healthy, and if you can, get a haircut. I'm still holding out.